This video is presented by EA Game Changes and this is also not the final thing of the pack. So yeah, there might be changes when it's released. Hey, hands, how we all diddly doing? How's everybody holding up? Welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Cottage Living LP, which will, will, will have a much fancier name in the title. Today is a very exciting one, as all of the others are, plainly just because I'm very much enjoying this pack. So I class every single thing that we do with it as exciting. Let's, oh, hang on, sorry. Let's jump on in, shall we? I have actually done some work off camera, believe it or not. I've been a working girl today. I harvested everything because they were just kind of sat there. Although I could still harvest all the carrots. But then that means we've got like a surplus of veg. I kind of want to hang on to it because some spoil in like six days, actually. That's magnificent. Can we not plant these though? I knew we could. Right, I'm going to open up some of these mushrooms. That is definitely not a mushroom. <laughs> put one there, put one there. Because these are all excellent, right? So do we not have large mushrooms? I swear I bought giant. Oh, I don't know, hens. I don't know. All I know is I'm doing something wrong. Don't know what it is. Oh, wait, no, it's the cow fat. No, it's not. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I still think we're on bloody Wednesday of the first week that we ever played. Saturday is the garden fair, so that's just normal fruits and vegetables. So that's why I want to hang on to all of the fruits and vegetables. Because I don't want to quit before I've even began. Do you know what I mean? You know what I also need to do? I also need to move one of the bins over here because she goes on a fucking trek each and every time she cleans one of the sheds out. So yeah, I want to keep all of the magnificent ones for there, but I'm getting a little bit nervous about it because like, what if they go out of stock? Do you know what I mean? Not out of stock. What if they go out of date is what I'm saying. Where the fuck is it? I want to embroider, basically. There it is. Cross stitch. That's what it is. So I'm hoping we can just put this in our inventory, travel somewhere. Embarrassed from a move in violation. Jessie's moves were not appreciated. Now she's mootified. I can't fucking cope with this game. I want to I want to set up camp, right? This, these are my plans. I'm just laying them out. I'm just laying them out. And then the Sims can decide what they're going to do with them. I would like to go here and set up camp at a table and just sit and cross stitch all day. I'm looking in the viewfinder and looking at myself in here. And that is my hair is looking so different on the viewfinder. Anyway, moving on. That's not, that's not got anything to do about anything. I'm going to see if old Crumple Bottom will let us buy anything. Because I know she hates us. Is she willing to put her hatred of me aside to let me buy some good old chocolatey syrup? Oh, and custard. Large cross stitch hoop. Oh, oh my God. You can get so much. Thank you. I love them. Thank you. We appreciate our business. Have a nice day. I might see how much I can get for... Well, oh, fucking hell. We've got 100 carrots. It's actually going to take quite a little bit of time. <sighs> so how's everybody's day been? Have we all had tea? What what are we having? I think I'm going to get a takeaway at night, honestly, because this is the fifth video I've recorded back to back and it's only 20 past one and I think I'm going to be going till six because I actually want to complete this LP within the next couple of days. So I think I'm going to treat myself to a takeaway at night. Oh no, we've got a tense moodler from Unresolved Conflict. Oh bless her, she's trying to give us a good thingy. Oh, the mayor was trying to talk to me there. What have you got to say, babe? Oh, can you not actually shop at these? I thought it was because it was out of clothing time but out of clothing time. Out of operating hours. Oh, well, at least you can click on them. I would like to buy grocery shop items, please. This would make me rather excited. Look at the bottle of milk. Oh, oh, do Americans have milkmen where they drive about in the little... <laughs> it's like a, a... Not even a van, is it? It's like it's like a van, but with an open back and like a shelter over the top. And they come and give you... Oh, flour. They don't come and give you flour. They come and drop your milk off in little glass bottles. But we've got flour as an ingredient. I'm also going to buy some fire milk. A green egg. Oh my god, I might cheat and just put that in the competition. Pomegranate. Oh, what? you know. Wow. I really am impressed. I want to learn about the green egg. You can make this by feeding a hen a veggie treat. Oh my god. So, treats actually help. Green eggs are used to complete certain errands for the grocery owner. Oh my god, so these errands actually like give us gameplay. Right, well, do you know what? I think I'm going to have a chilled day sitting here. Oh, look, she's going to embroider too. It's not embroidering, is it? It's cross-stitching. Is there a difference? No, this is the cutest thing. I am in my element. I've been wanting to learn how to um, cross-stitch, but it's very... <laughs> Well, it looks like a very time-consuming thing. And I would like to quit before I'm ahead. But I don't like to do things that I don't want to do. And I don't feel the urge to achieve anything that hasn't been achieved. You're looking to quit before you start. Exactly. Oh my god, I thought my game crashed. I just moved my mouse and it pointed to the sky. Where the fuck there? I was really into sewing at one point and I made my own dresses and stuff. And now I'm getting into embroidery. And I would like to do cross-stitching, but I just don't... I don't know. I don't know if I'd be able to because of time. I prefer drawing. I'm a big drawer. <gasps> oh, wow, we're sharing creative things. It's a show and tell. I don't know how many people follow me on Twitter and everything. If you have, you might already have seen some of this stuff. This is what I'm currently working on. Oh God, it's, it's not me blaring it out. It's the camera filter. That is going to be my new 
YouTube banner. There is more. These are some sunflowers that I drew. This is a portions bottle that I drew. I wish it wouldn't fucking... There we go. This one is part of a drawing series that I have and it's like a sleepy Hogwarts girl where it's a girl sleeping at Hogwarts in loads of different positions. A lot of people think that, that she's based off me, but no, I was drawing her and I was in love with her ginger hair, so I went ginger. Focus, you bitch. And then here's the last one. She's sleeping in the Gryffindor common room. So that is my, I love creativity. I discovered in quarantine that I was creative. And you know what? Something that I never expected because I always swore blind that I didn't have a creative soul in my body. And plot twist, I did. I did. He's the grocery deliverer. I need to... Uh, Friendly introduction and oh, I already know them. So we've got the garden shop owner that we can ask that we can do thingies for. The grocery deliverer that we can do thingies for. Does Agnes count? God, I don't think that's gonna go. That that, that will actually go down like a lead balloon. Where's the mayor? Because I'm guessing the mayor's another one that we can do errands for. And also our future husband to be, Michael who we haven't actually made that much effort with. I might have to do like just a chilled one where we just sit and do like the day-to-day -day tasks of the expansion pack, like cross-stitching and a date. Oh, we could ask him on a date to the pub though. That could be cute. Oh, I'm so in love with cottage car, right? And I love like the idea of cottages and everything. You know what? <sighs> it's just a life I can see myself living because life is so fast paced. And then lockdown and quarantine and everything. I, excuse me, Hen, do not put your finished cross stitch pattern just on the floor like that. Thank you. Oh my God, we can sell that for 114. Not bad, not bad. I'm trying to click view slash read. This might not be completed. Like it might not be a complete part of the pack. Or maybe it is and that's just the thing. Can I please put this in my inventory? I do not want to sell it. I worked really hard. There we go. Jesse is Rahul's fair and friend today. He's happy to offer Jesse a favor for being a member of the village community. If Jesse wants to carry forward the daily fair and friend tradition, she should find a Henford on Bagley local and offer them a Finchwick favor she thinks they'd enjoy. Oh. That's lovely, I pick him. Jesse's discovered information about a bottle, bottle of milk. Offer Finchwick favour. Oh, wait, this is like the American type of favour. Not a favour as in like, will you do this for me? Thank you. Do we have the finished? Oh, we can give him our room. Oh, we can give him the cross stitching. <laughs> you are really ruining my shot. Could be an engagement ring next episode. You never know. Oh my God, why is she like squaring up to him? Did you like it? Sell forage plants. Oh, so we can get a bigger discount if we give them to him. Oh, well, there you go, babe. Not a bigger discount. Like a, we can get more of a profit if we sell it straight to him, which is great because I literally picked all of these out of the ground for absolutely nothing. Didn't cost me a bean. Can you fuck off, Ed? <laughs> like not being funny. I am trying to have a date. I'm going to ask him if he's single. If it comes back that he's married, I'll, I, I will feel betrayed. Not he's single. I know it's like nine o'clock, but what, what if we just went on a date? Never say never. Where should we go? Oh, I know that we're already there oh my god this lot is not available not there the norm's arms let's just go there let's just do it honestly oh quaint little pub meeting oh god i need a wee thank god we came here <laughs> two birds one stone babe is there all else that we need while we're here a food we could get food together let's get a cottage pie i want to see how that looks this time we completely refuse to sit together oh my god <laughs> right i want to get pregnant this episode fuck it <laughs> I do. I'm about ready to have a baby. Oh, wait, no. Well, he's not. I always move too fast. I do. Oh my God, this place is booming, but does it really have to be in the toilets? Uh, why are people spawning in the toilets? Oh God, we've got these main goals. I completely forgot about them. Oh, he's a loner. Me too, babe. Me too. Hey, boo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I pissed him off, but I earned a reward. Oh, he likes the color orange, pink, red, white, and yellow. I love that. It was a date, if not the most successful date ever. Check your Sims household for a, a consolation prize. A book. Love that for me. It's 4am. Hey, hey. What day is it as well? The Thursday. We've got one day until the village fair. And it's vegetables this week, isn't it? I keep forgetting which one it is. We've had a hen. We've had hens and now it's vegetables. Right? Yes. Finchwick Garden Fair. All right, I'm going to send it to sleep and do all the business. I'll catch back up with you tomorrow where I'm getting a pregnant. Listen, I, I, I need a child to help around the house. That it might not be the most romantic reason as to this marriage and potential heir, but that is the reason that I have and that's the reason that I'm going with. And you know what? It's the Sims, so... When I start looking to adopt a child, this is not a reference <laughs> to how my parenting will be. Right, we are back. 
I, I'm going to invite him round. Oh my God, what relationship is doing so poorly? It must be a me problem because the only people that like me in this town are the animals. Every sim pretty much either could not give a shit about me or has a negative relationship with me. Oh, but he likes my fire. See, what I want to do, this episode's more of a chilled episode because we have the garden fair on Saturday. And then after that, then I want to focus on these errands. I don't want to start with the errands and then have the vegetable fair and then go back to the errands like i'd rather do it bit by bit by bit and i am gonna have a henford heart to heart and try and get this relationship going a little bit so i can have a child because i also want to cook with the child and i want the the child to be like a child age at the point where we've got a spare episode so we can cook with the child you know take the community garden for example an enterprising neighbor started it a few years back and its entire community is insured that's really taken off i bet it was agnes where have you gone oh oh look at him Oh my god, look at the cow! <gasps> my first an animal friend was a little bunny named Boo. It took a long time for me to befriend her, but once I did, we were inseparable. I'd visit her every day. We really had a special bond. We are so perfect together. Hold hands. Hold hands. Bon appetit! <laughs> Oh, no, you're going to ruin this now. You're actually going to ruin this. <laughs> Why is he talking about pissing himself? I've literally just told you that I like you. My kind of man. Where, where does he keep fucking going? <gasps> First kiss. Oh, please have it inside of here as well. Because like the, the just the atmosphere with the background and everything. Oh, cottage car kiss. Cottage car kiss vibes. <laughs> Oh, what a cottage car type of kiss. What a cottage, cottage car kiss with the fucking shit lighting. I feel like this could have been a much more romantic moment if I could pronounce cottage car correctly just fucking once. If he's going to talk to the fucking cow again. Right, as to be boyfriend, we are officially together. Where are an animal? Oh, bitch. Try for baby in animal shed. Oh my God, this goes so far against the grain. Another pun in there somewhere. Oh, there's not enough room. Right, that is because admittedly I did place them all with bb.move objects on. Can't be done while animals in shed. Call over brown cow. This feels so wrong. <laughs> the cow's there like, this, oh, 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 kicked out of my home for this. Journeys. <laughs> I better be pregnant after that performance. I swear to you. I swear. I hope my next door neighbors can't hear me. Because that out of context could sound really bad, actually. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I am pregnant. The garden fair is Saturday. So I think I'm going to end this here and I'm going to play through a day off camera and just kind of do things that need to be done, I guess. And I'll have a look around and see what actually needs to be done. So, yes. Thank you all for joining me. That was a truly... Wait, actually, let me get the green screen down. Thank you all for joining me. That was a truly eye-opening experience. I have never really wanted to experience woohoo in a cow shed. I can't say that my life is more enriched for knowing that, honestly. But it was entertaining. I'm going to have to give the, the kid a, a name that's like in reference to a cow, isn't it? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know what to call it. Uh, leave name guesses down below and guess if, if guess what I'm going to call it. I will have already recorded this episode, like the episode where we have the kid by the time this episode goes up, but it's going to be fun to look back and see your suggestions and see if I could come up with anything either. Right, I'm going to end this episode. I'll join you again on Saturday in game when it's the vegetable fair thing. Love yous and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, bitch.